Okay, guys, so you have um, a tier one minor infraction that's happening in your classroom, all right? What we normally call a, a K violation, which is like disrupt and defy kind of thing, all right? We need you to input it into your classroom behavior. How you do that is you go into Q um, and you're gonna go under menu, behavior, class behavior, okay? So um, you're, this is only going to be your class. Mine defaulted here to Boffman's. But um, let's say that Jeffrey was having a bad day. You would think that you'd put the behavior here in the intervention, but the way it's set up, it's kind of different. So you're going to hit the plus sign. And let's say it was just a class disruption. And then you hit append. You can always just type in whatever you want in there and erase that, put whatever comments of what behavior you want. Okay. Then the intervention, you're going to put anything that's in this yellow. All right. Um, so just the closest thing to what that you did as far as the intervention when you're done. So let's say I had him flip his card. OK, you're going to hit submit. OK, I'm not going to submit because I don't want to do that to Jeffrey, but you would hit submit and then it's going to be in the system. That's for um, tier one classroom, classroom managed behaviors. All right. Now, if it's a tier two and it's a suspendable offense, check your discipline form just to make sure, and you need to do a referral, you're gonna go into menu, behavior, student behavior, okay? Then you're going to find your student, put the last name, let's see if I can find it, oh, of course there's no Jones up there. Um, let me say Hernandez, all right. So let me say it was um, Camila. Hernandez didn't have a good day. I would add the referral here. Okay. And then you put all of the information. Now, really important. Remember, whenever you input, especially in a referral, but anywhere in queue, anywhere where it's documented, do not write the names of the other students involved. Put if there was another student involved, you put student B, student C, because any of these documents can be requested by a court. And for confidentiality purposes, we don't put other students' names on things. So you would just put um, the student's name and then everybody else's student B, student C. When you're done, you hit submit and the front office will get it and we'll take it from there. Okay, so I hope that helps. Everyone have a great day. Thanks for watching.